Hi Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a channel reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of January, I decided to extend the opportunity to have the 2020 sneak peek reading. So if you're still looking for the chance to have an overall guidance for the year ahead that it's still available uh, until mid-January and the other option the other special monthly offer is also focused in the year of 2020 it's a reading that is called make a wish so basically um, it's it looks into the type of intention that you want to uh, set into specific areas of life such as your personal growth love matters and prosperity uh, prosperity so it's a reading that looks in terms of one wish one one intention one resolution for each of that area and the likelihood of that manifesting coming to fruition during 2020 are not what forces are against it what forces are you know helpful so if you would like to know more details about that special those special offers or any other of my services again just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by following the PayPal link which is also down below such as my Facebook and Instagram page. So Virgo, I do feel like some of you during January, you're really trying to break free from a lot of self-imposed limitations that you have been trying um, in a way to free yourself from, but still feeling quite attached to fearful voices, fearful, paranoid, nervous, stressful influences. And I'm feeling like for some of you Virgos, it's really about stress. It's like um, wanting to find a way out of the constant, you know, the constant feeling of being on edge upon uh, situations um, that don't allow you to find this free free state of being within your interactions. And when you when you're thinking about your future, when you're thinking about what's coming ahead, not looking at it with this very negative approach or with this approach that is just not useful. It's just not going to help you uh, proceed ahead and attain those goals you have in mind. Some of you are very goal oriented during January, but um, the way you pursue your goals is the thing. You have a lot of this internal restless restlessness this uh, internal agitation agitation yes that is all consuming because it feels like some of you have many ideas many things to say many things to put out into the world but you're having a hard time overcoming whatever fear okay whatever um you know, um, insecurities as well, you're immediately putting as, you know, something to stop you, something to stop you from advancing, something from stop uh, that stops you from meeting again those, uh, those goals and those wishes. So it's almost like you're putting yourself in a position where you're unable to just meet your needs because you feel like you can't... Um, I'm feeling like some of you feel like you're not good enough for something. So this could really be dealing with insecurities when it comes to your power, when it comes to your intellect, when it comes to your potential um, upon something. I feel like for those of you that are using a lot, the power of the mind, the use of communication um, in your work or in a certain situation during January where communication is key, to resolve matters. There could be issues with communication. There could be issues with you feeling confident in your, um, in, in the things you're saying and also trusting the things you're hearing. So there's a little bit of a difficulty as well, trusting what's coming your way. With the Eight of Wands and the Ace of uh, Swords, there's a lot of back and forth communication. So you can expect that January might be a fairly busy month when it comes to engaging in social um, social interactions, okay? There might be a lot of information, uh, you know, circling around Virgos, a lot of things you're hearing, a lot of things you're, like, absorbing and picking on. Your is almost like your... Um, 
you're really wired to information so it might get a notice for people around you but for you it won't get a notice you it's like you're absorbing you know information from here from there from there from there and making you know um I feel like some of you are making assumptions or getting into conclusions by, you know, detecting what's wrong or what's right in what you're hearing. So definitely your throat chakra is really um, active as well during January. It might be the time for you to just say it, to just declare um, certain truths, okay, or come to a point where you acknowledge that something is not working for you and make that final cut. I'm feeling like this Ace of Swords in your unconscious, there's a strong pull, this strong, strong yearning during January to make a cut of sorts, to stop with something that is, again, detrimental to you. It's like something that puts you in a constant, um, anxiety, you know, nervous panic mode is something that within the way you think um, pushes you down where you should be lifting yourself up or something that you're just afraid to tell, you're afraid to do. It's like enough of that, just say it already, just do it already. It's almost like the universe is pushing you to just say it, just do it, just do whatever you're most afraid of doing during January. You know that saying that when something terrifies you, it's that actually that sign that you should be doing it. It's that feeling of some of you might be both excited and terrified at the same time about something that you're considering doing or something, an opportunity that might come about during um, January. And you know, the feeling here is just to go for it. I feel like the majority of you are really called to go for it, particularly if it's something that lifts your spirit up, if it's something that is stimulating, if it's some, something that awake is awakening some passion um, in your spirit, if it's something that makes you laugh, if it's something that just makes you feel good, something that feels like you're where you're able to fight off again your your insecurities your inhibitions there's a lot of um inhibitions with you virgo that shouldn't be a part of the picture anymore like things you're holding on to when it comes to just living life and enjoying yourself uh freely uh without without so much you know painful discrimination all the time like Every single thing you're doing and saying goes through this analysis mode, goes through this filter that is very harsh because you're constantly, you know, criticizing in a way the way you are acting so you're not being natural in your interactions. You're not just living things for the sake of living them. You're always thinking about what it means, if you should have done something better, if you should have said something differently. So... There's a big stop with it. Something needs to stop, Virgo, when it comes to you just not being free to do things the way you want to do. And I feel like this has been also, um, this is something that also um, puts you in a spin when it comes to just not, you know, accepting what life tries to bring into your orbit. It's almost like, there's new beginnings around you and January might bring here some new beginnings and new opportunities to start fresh, to start something, to do something differently. Um, and it's like circling around Virgo energy, but uh, there is a denial, there's a refusal to completely let that energy and experience in because... You don't know how to just jump into it. You, just, you don't know how to invite something that has not been through that processing that filter of analysis that scrutinizes every single bit of an experience or of a person of something and it shuts down okay um opportunities to come in and bring you better so it's almost like some of you virgos have been uh keeping yourselves from embracing again your destiny your future your um life chances that come about unexpectedly where we just need to adapt and see how it is going to go it's like you before you it's like your curious spirit you know before you even 
let the curiosity you know guide you to experiment something or see what something is about you refuse it and for virgos that do this for virgos that are connecting with this message january might be an important month where something is so attractive something is so alluring that you can't just easily push it off right put it to the side and you're going to be in this conflict of sorts within your mind where a part of you wants to keep rep you know uh, wants to keep um itself repeating this uh bullshit the other wants to keep repeating all the things that you know put you in this minima minimal you know energy of just being stuck being constantly afraid of life of people or another side of you that wants to be cutting through this energy being strong being uh sure of what it wants and going for it and everything is a risk there's that feeling of risk taking okay some of you are afraid obviously of the risks that you might be considering taking or the risk of what some some situation might be um the risk of uh, the risk involved within a particular situation some of you might be getting yourselves caught in um during january it's like you're afraid of what's the results okay the outcomes um it could be that for some of you virgos this is something that already started to happen in december and you're now you're panicking with the outcome like you what waiting for the outcome what the outcome will be and really afraid of not being the best one or not receiving you know um the rewards that you feel like or you hope that you would be receiving when it comes to something you attempt some sort of attempt some of you try to do so for those of you that have tried to do something that's that was a little bit out of your a comfort zone and you're now on this waiting phase to see how is that going to uh go um the waiting can be really causing you stress and anxiety just watch for those levels of anxiety because i feel like in january they can be particularly high i also feel like for some of you friends um and your soul tribe and you know again social interactions might be important it could be that if this is not about you you're seeing that there's a lot of uh, hyper hi hyper um you know activity concerning your social circles and so sometimes this could be also all consuming for some of you virgos like feeling like you're constantly needed or your friends are always reaching out and you don't you know have a moment where your phone um you know doesn't have a message or a call coming in or an email or you could be feeling like just people out there need you more than what you're used to or the people are looking for you more than what you are used to particularly again for virgos that have been you know trying to uh be more in the quiet be more in the lonely be more in the five of pentacles vibe and the nine of swords like let, let let me be with my own shadow let me be with my own demons let me be with my own things and for those virgos that have been too long in that energy again and in December, you had a particular um, um, similar message. It's like, for those of you that have been under this type of influence and you have been overextending your energy in the shadow, you know, you have all of this uh, energy of action and communication so strong directed to you because it's time to pull you out of that rut it's time to pull you out of that hole dark hole you have been resting in it's like time to move time to speak time to do time to create time to love time to relate 2020 for virgos is about doing things that you have not been doing for a long time it's about you know taking that step that extra mile going to the extra mile going to you know um unfamiliar territory of sorts doing things that um fight against your 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 temptation to settle your temptation to just be where you are uh in stagnation your temptation to just be uh you know sp spending 12 months of a year just thinking about things and not doing anything about it so there's that feeling of 
being pushed out of your comfort zone at times, in particular in January, because it's to set certain things in motion that if without that type of discomfort, some of you Virgos wouldn't do or you wouldn't, um, you wouldn't even see, I feel like, um, why is it important to do certain things? Why is it important to be a part of certain things? And I'm feeling like some of you are growing a little bit as well detached, okay, from people in your life. And for those that have been growing detached from people in your life, January asks you this important question. is like you're growing detached from people in your life because you they don't they don't give you any good feelings anymore you don't love them anymore you don't need them anymore and so you're just you know they're dead weight in a way and you need to make the cut and you haven't had the courage to just say it that you don't need them anymore or you're growing detached from people and you have been growing detached from people because you're terrified of love you're terrified of attachment you're terrified of connection you feel like if you would reveal and expose your true self within those relationships you would be rejected you would be abandoned regardless is it because you truthfully don't want certain connections in your life or because you're afraid that they're going to abandon you and leave you and so you're growing detached as a defense right as um an energy of I'm ready. If they do something already, I'm already um, expecting it. it. It won't hurt me so much. It won't shock me so much. So some of you are also repeating some sort of um, traumatic event that deals with abandonment issues and fears. Okay. Um, you're repeating certain patterns that deals with that. Projecting it into relationships that might not have anything okay any reason uh for you to fear that any reason for you to be seeing that but you're projecting into it um and again a cut being with your own being with your own excuses okay to not do certain things that need to be done or a cut in terms of you know reaping certain bandages, open doors, opening windows, letting your life breathe, okay, and the air circulate, and take away what is not needed, uh, and bring this type of freshness to closed spaces in your life, you know, there has been a lot of closed doors, um, and those closed doors are opening, okay, in January to not only catch some air, but for you to actually see what's inside of it. I feel like some of you have lost track of certain internal, okay, restrictions that you have set internally long time ago, and now they are interfering and messing with your growth, and you have to go and look at them and act accordingly to find that freedom that I was speaking about initially. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon and I want to wish you a happy new year.